Ladies and gentlemen, the film you are about to see is a standard eight home movie with the producer's intentions to give you a light-hearted look at the serious business of movie production. In order to beat the critics to the draw, the producer wishes to state that although an attempt has been made at professionalism, in no way does he claim to match the genius of the arts. However, he does claim to have more sound dropouts than any school of delicate delinquents. It was made in good fun. I trust you will receive it likewise. Thank you. are the backroom boys who will stop at nothing to see that the product is three days late.
Productions, can I help you? Yes, one moment, please. Connecting you now. Good morning, Crawford Productions, can I help you? The Boardroom, where decisions are made. The Crawford Production Nerve Center. It must be, for once I was told, you've got a nerve to come in here. Can I help you? Yes, one moment, please. Connecting you now. Good morning, Crawford Productions. Can I help you? I'm sorry, the line's busy. Everybody go. It's too early for Wrigley's. Oh, well, I suppose it must be the canteen. skeleton stuff. from America, now obsolete, and having now been replaced by the drive-in theatres. Here is Loretta once again, with John Drew, Louis Anderson, making plans for the first audition. For me, a high silk hat and a silver cane, a watch of gold with a diamond chain. I'm a diddly day, a night as light as day. It's great to be a. This is the audition studio. The audition qualities are very demanding. For example, can you make a cup of tea, strike a match, boil an egg, and get your gear off? If so, then you are on your way to stardom. An actor's life is fun. Bit 
pum 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 rat ta 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 pum 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 a night is life for me Here are but a few of the production scripts, all of which are printed here on the premises by Gail Mays. Now in the carpenter's workshop, where sets are made for almost any production. Aladdin's cave, an office in Parliament House, or the interior of a submarine. plays a major role in any production. You can see here the many problems that can be created. The correct size, repairs, laundering, and my wife complains. A large car park is available for employees and company transport, including a service and maintenance workshop. VTR OB van used for taping the Solomon's episodes.
inside the studio and see if any action is taking place. We are now on the homicide set doing a rehearsal of a scene from The Fireworks Man. shots taken on location with a box feature crew and this shot was most amusing when special effects released the foam premature and here you can see the crew trying to scoop back the foam into the garage indeed co-optimists <laughs> Thank you. 
charge of phone dispatch. Here she is sending credit cards to the phone laboratory.
Jan Sterling, assistant editor. Adrian Carr, editor for Homicide. Phil Reed, supervising editor, is seen here making up work print for a double head. Jenny Lawton, assistant editor, is dialogue track lane. and the magnetic sound here. It is remote controlled by these delightful people who can't make up their mind whether they want it in or out. The scene, that is. Another system of double head is the double head or double band projector as seen here. The print on one side and the magnetic sound on the other. Whichever is used, both sound and picture are in sync and interlocked. Turn to the editor for alterations, if any. Here is Frank Lipson at the controls in the First Sync Studio. Once again, the projector and sound are interlocked, and both dialogue and effects can be recorded in sync.
responsible for stamp transfer. Quarter inch location tapes are received here and transferred to either 16, 17.5 or 35 millimeter. There are times when I wish the sound of my wife be transferred to Honolulu. Supervising music editor. Seen here arriving early for work. This is indeed a phenomenon, a phenomenon, a rare occasion. So rare, in fact, this shot was taken midday. Music editor for Homicide. Editor for Solo One. It's 
Once again, cutting the stock opening music for Homicide.
may I introduce David Harrison, who is about to mix what appears to be two comedy scenes from The Sullivans. Terry tells Dave, Reg and the boys, the dunny is on fire. is enough to dampen anyone's spirit, especially Bert Dugan. the neg room boys or neg matches but that's another story let's just settle for introductions warwick driscoll ty zervis Adam Dion, as he likes to be known, who incidentally is singing the vocalized background. Why 
I by chance to hold romance, I found the answer. The mango dancers are by the finest thing. Jeff Kahn? Each time I kissed her behind the castanet, she rattled on the rockets close to me. Ain't no time I was trembling at the knee. Oh, the sea I'm up the sun is free. Gee, this is going to be slippery this afternoon. The Bradley medalist has first touch for him of the afternoon. Free kick being played, and let's see which way it's going. Who probably gets more free kicks than any other player playing. He just seems to be in the right place at the right time. And two 15-metre penalties being applied. So the umpire exerting his control right from the start. moments ago maybe the side to steady down will win this match or get a break in the first quarter no sense in taking him away from there a oh, beautiful kick from south the under the wet conditions look at that almost into the center circle magnificent kick they're trying to break up play here because the conditions certainly make tempers play a bit very tough for opening this match quite a few uh, fights for the very start of the game it's on for young and old at the moment quite a few uh, little breakups and that time a beautiful mark Gilly can feel the tension up here on the commentator's box. Short pass. Tell you what, this is uh, Monday night at uh, TV ringside. Boots it up towards the full forward zone. Right on the edge of the boundary. And he'd be about 30 metres out from goal. A very difficult shot for a right footer. A little bit short of the half forward line, perhaps. A long kick needed here. Well, we'll wait for this shot. We'll see whether it can get it through. The kick. He's put it right through. Ball up about uh, 20 metres. By oh, gee, the umpires are really going to have to be on the job here. What an opening. And well, I don't think I've seen an opening like this since I've fallen football. Seven minutes have gone. We've had two fights and two points. And the fight's about a draw at the moment.